a powerful way of learning about the history of a planet is to compare it to others. This will now be demonstrated for Earth using its closest companion, the Moon. They are both large rocky spheres orbiting the Sun together at the same distance. But there are differences between them, and throughout this presentation, try to think of the most fundamental difference between them, size, as an underlying cause. There are geological differences between the Earth and the Moon. The vast majority of the Moon is covered by a highly cratered terrain known as the Lunar Highlands. There are very few impact craters currently identifiable on Earth. Something must have erased them. The Earth has active volcanism. The Moon has evidence of past volcanism, especially the giant smooth lava plains known as the Lunar Maria. The Earth also currently has active tectonics. The Moon is geologically dead, even as there is evidence of ancient tectonics. Erosion by wind, water, and ice are all present on the surface of the Earth. Because the Moon has no atmosphere, it also has no erosion. The Earth has an atmosphere thick enough for weather, even planes, to fly through. The surface of the Moon only has the vacuum of space above it. Not having an atmosphere also means that the only life that ever existed on the moon was what we brought there. This is the end of the summary here, but you are encouraged to look at companion videos 
explaining the reasons for the similarities as well as the differences between the Earth and the Moon.